did it. Okay, James, I just have one question for you. How did you pull this off? Um, <laughs> with a lot of perseverance, with, uh, with a lot of great people um, uh, behind me, and, um, and ultimately, um, you know, um, knowing that we had to do the right thing for Paul. Yeah. And, uh, and, and the right thing to, to do for Paul was finish this movie in, uh, in the most dignified way we could and, uh, and, you know, and give the fans and audiences out there one last opportunity to say goodbye to him. How do you think this is going to honor his legacy? I think, uh, I think it's going to, you know, I think it's going to speak volume. I think, uh, I think, you know, the Fast and Furious franchise is such a big part of Paul's world, you know, uh, and, uh, and, and, I, and I just don't mean that from a sort of career standpoint. Um, I mean that, uh, you know, Paul is a very, was a very active physical person, you know. He's so physical, he's so athletic, he loves to run, fight, shoot guns, you know, he's, such, he's, he's all of that. He loves swimming, diving, he loves playing in the ocean, and, and I feel like, um, and he loves, you know, he loves cars as well, big time, you know, Paul was the, the real deal. and. This particular franchise sums up everything about Paul, yeah. and uh, and especially you know how much he loved and how much he is beloved by uh, by everyone behind this particular um, franchise, from the cast to the producers to the studio. I just think um, you know I don't think there's any other movie out there that he's done that that says more who he is than this one. Yeah, you did a terrific job, and my God, the stunts were just by far like the most amazing things I've ever seen on film. And was there anything when, you know, after you saw it or after you finished shooting it or you kind of scratch your head and go, I didn't think we were gonna be able to pull it off, but we did. No, I, uh, it wasn't like that at all. If anything, I was cracking the whip, going, uh, "We gotta get better. We gotta get better stuff." You know, it has to like everything has to be, you know, more. Uh, you know, it has to be as precise as we could possibly do it. Um, you know, you really need to push the boundaries. You know, really set the bar up high. And because you know, Justin did such an amazing job setting the bars so high up in in, in the previous Fast and Furious films that uh, that you know, I I felt the pressure to uh, to step up to that, and uh, and. I, um, you know, I wanted to bring some of the things that are uh, that I'm kind of, you know, known for from my 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 scary movies, you know, my suspense horror movies, and I wanted to bring those kind of suspense and tension into the action sequences in this film. So you have Jason Statham, Vin Diesel, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Who is the toughest badass on this set? Ah. Uh... I cannot answer that one. Uh, they, you know, uh, they're gonna beat the crap out of me if I say the wrong thing. Uh, let's just say they're all equally incredibly tough guys in their own rights. Well, let's just say who surprised you the most. <laughs> <laughs> they all surprise me in their own ways. You know, and here's the thing that surprised me the most, I, I, I should say about them is, you know, like, you know, when you think of action stars, you just think, okay, you know, they, they just, they're physical actors and that's all they do, right? That, that's their bread and butter. But then when I got to meet them and I got to talk with them and, uh, and, um, and work with them, you see that they're actually really, at the, at, at the end of the day, you know, thespians. They're, they're actors. They really want to showcase that they're not just big muscle guys. That they want to, you know, really get into, um, you know, the, the character stuff. And, and that was the great thing about working with Vin. Vin was very into his characters and into like the other characters and, and basically into growing the saga as well and not having it be, you know, sort of stagnant. And, you know, and for that, I uh, was very thankful that they looked outside of just what they're known for. Well, you've done a, just a bang-up job on this, no pun intended. And I have to say, I hope for The Conjuring 2 we'll see some flying cars now. Like, it's in your blood now. Maybe. Listen, yeah. everyone said they wanted to see a haunted car in this movie, and that didn't happen, so we'll see. Your next one, my friend. Thank yeah, you so one. much. Pleasure talking Thanks, to you buddy. again. Thank Thanks, you. James.